Hi folks, here we are. Another small update on Collins Model Railway. What you may notice I've done this morning, you may notice some odd little bits of cardboard running along the side of the track by here, little cut pieces. This is the cardboard of the scenics where I had before, which I don't throw away, they always come in handy. And uh, what I've done, I tidied up the edge along the green by here. Now what I've done, I laid them all down to five by here. Now what I plan to do in the next few days now is to stick all these down and show you by here now the fencing which I got by here I plan to put back along the edge of the track and also I shall add little bits of dabs of colour along here which I shall show you now now you may well notice by here I got three pots of paint these are sample pots which you can buy in as you may well notice the label on here Wilco it's called Wilkinson now I got a dark brown one I got a green one and I got like a bluey colour now what I could do I got other colours as well I got white I got black and these are only a pound a pot and they're much cheaper and much larger than buying model paints so what I do I use these a little bit of a touch up now I'll show you something else in a minute what I'm going to use as well then you can buy this from Gage Master any modeling shops it's like flaky bits of grass but there's also little bits of pebbles and bits of bobs I got now with the scenics what I just showed you you can add that in with it as well and touch the scenery up probably put different colors in it as well brown as well and this is what they're going to do in the future and I'll show you a little bit more as you go along. Here we have some more scenics, which is by Gage Master also. Now these are a lightish green colour, a darkish green colour with a little bit of brown tint in it as well, and a dark green. Now I plan to use these on the area which I just showed you with the cardboard on the edge of the track. Uh, probably put a couple little daubs of glue down with it, Unibond and run these along the side as well now these i'll just show you now in the next few days hopefully there you go now then you may well notice that they have put the fencing back and i've added some sheep cattle and you may well notice there is a horse up along as well and i put a little cottage by here with a little tractor by the side and I've run the scenics along here you may well notice the dark green colour along here which I mixed up with the glue it is still a little bit damp at the minute now but once it is set what I'll start doing then I'll start putting the scenics to grey ballast around for the tracks I'll probably add a little bit of green or black in here here and there and we shall see how we go along now. I'll show another little update then. There you go for now. We now come to this side of the layout. Now, as you know, the fence has been here for quite a while. And this little bit of a hedge row over here as well. Now, what I've done this morning, I've added some sheep here, some cattle. It's come around lay out a bit more there are two small sheepdogs by there come around a bit more over here there's a few more cattle and sheep there are two little lambs there you may well notice and there is a horse by there and we shall add some more scenics around here soon again and eventually we shall do another bit of a running gala for you as well As you know, I've been showing you some of the scenics which I've added around the layout here and there. Now, finally, now we're going to show you the adhesive which I use. This is a PVA multi purpose adhesive and sealer, and you can buy this in any Poundland store. And it is a very versatile stuff, I've used it quite often. There you go. And finally for this morning we come to this little piece of the layout by here. Uh, what I've done this morning, I've added two pegs, 
two goats and a couple of cattle in this little bit of open ground land by here. Now then, we shall add a bit more scenics around here soon. <laughs>